I really wanted to get down to the nitty gritty about working in our industry when you're pregnant and when you're a new mom. Because I feel like for an industry with so many women in it, it's mm-hmm. something we don't talk about. Yeah. Like we talk about hair and we talk about what we do. And we talk about our clients, but nobody talks about this side. And yeah. for a lot of us that become moms during this, because when you graduate beauty school, you're so young. Yeah. Usually you have a lot of life changes. You get married, you have kids. So tell me what... Well, if you could sum up working being pregnant in one word, <laughs> what would it be? Like, what is your advice for someone out there? Um, I feel like we both could say this. Cut back while you're pregnant or yes. you'll get put on bed rest. Um, yes. So, yeah. Yes. So yeah. you rallied. Mm-hmm. Um, you were sick. Yeah. Three, Girl, every was morning, at th- <laughs> every day at the salon, but no one knew. No. Like if I didn't know you and know, like I don't think your clients knew. Yeah. I don't think even some of our team members, like I would be working with you. It, well, we were wearing masks, so right. that was helpful. That too. helped a ton. Yes, yeah. but like not very many people knew like really how mm-hmm. sick you were. What was something that got you through those days? Um. Well, ginger ale. <laughs> one. <laughs> yes. But just trying to like grind and just make it to the finish line too. Cause I guess I didn't really, like we talked about this, but we didn't really know what to expect no. like in yeah. this industry because you hear like work, mom, bow, like it's hard. Yeah. Um, so, and then when you're in it, you just do it. Yeah. You just do it. You just grind and yeah. you, yeah. And still with a smile on your face. Yes. Doing great hair. And making everybody happy. Yes. It was very impressive because I was because I was fortunate. I did not have that with my pregnancy with Wade. And so seeing you just work day in and day out at the pace that you worked, being that sick, I was like, oh my gosh, like she's superwoman. So <laughs> let's fast forward. You got through the holidays. Got which is the holidays. Which is always like the craziest time in our industry. Like every Silas knows, like, whoo, we're crazy. Yeah. Um, but we were so thankful. And I feel like that was a difference, too, in your pregnancy. I think after being shut down and, like, the world, like, pretty much changing, yeah. I think last year, one positive I want to take from it is that we were so thankful to be at work. Oh, yeah. And like, I think that... And have the ability to work. Because, you know, here in other states, like, New York and California, like, they were still having shutdowns yeah. in the holidays. So... Yeah. Yeah, just being it, being thankful that we were able to actually, you know, work and be yeah. open. That was a, a big blessing in yes. itself. It's crazy. So fast forward, you grinded, you didn't slow yes. down. Yes. And with and you had Sydney as your associate. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Sid. Oh she my was gosh. a rock star. Yeah. I don't think we could have made it. No. No. Because no. like, not only have you had your own crazy clients. But Mm -hmm. after I had Wade, you Mm -hmm. took on a lot of my Mm -hmm. clients and didn't get, didn't, no, I didn't take them back. Yeah. Which we'll get into that with my story. Yeah. But so you had this massive load. Yeah. So you go to the doctor. What is it? I remember it was on Justin, my husband's birthday. I was like, this is going to be a sweet appointment. He'll get to see Blakely like on his birthday. It'll be a sweet appointment. And then boom, she's like, you're going on bed rest. Yeah. And she was like, you know, I was like, okay, well, can I cut down my workload? I oh, remember you, asking you're her. You're so me. Oh my I was gosh, like, you're so me. like, can I just like work like part time? And she's like, honey, bed rest means bed rest, like in bed. So that right there was probably one of the hardest, yeah, few weeks. Like I think I was on. I think it was a total of three weeks that I was on yeah. bed rest. Um, and I had FOMO so bad. I was missing the salon. And yeah. It was it was hard. It, and I think that, like, you joke when you're pregnant and you're really tired. You're like, oh, God, I just want to lay mm-hmm. in bed. But when your identities work mm-hmm. and you've worked so hard yeah. to build this clientele and, and, like, that's your escape. Like, you love the people you work with. Like, so you, you know. love your clients. Like, you actually, like, love doing hair. Like, I yeah. mean, I was playing with my doll's hair from the mm-hmm. time I was 10 years old. This was my identity. So that just be like taken completely away yeah. from you. It's yeah. a mental trip. 